So video games biggest event of the year is just one week away. And I'm going to tell you what I think is going to be there. Besides me, I'm going to be there. So I wanted to make a quick video pretty much just saying that I am going to be at E3 next week in LA. So our schedule is going to be a little different. I probably won't have a video up Monday of next week, but Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, there will all be E3 videos. So there'll be no usual games video on Monday, there'll be no usual comic video on Wednesday, and there'll be no Wolf Den video on Friday. But Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, there will be all E3 videos. So I am taking over the Wolf Den for the week. If you have issues with that, I'm sorry, but I'm really not. This is the first E3 I'm going to, so I'm very excited. So here are some rumors that a lot of people think you're going to be seeing next week at E3. First of all, PlayStation Plus is getting a whole new restructuring. Right now, every month they just release a bunch of games for free. But when that month's over, if you have the game, you can keep playing it for as long as you want and forever. But apparently they're thinking of making it timed. Which would suck. A lot. But along with that also comes the PlayStation Now streaming service where you can play PlayStation 3 games and PlayStation 2 games and PlayStation 1 games streamed to your PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, or Vita, which is awesome. So, you gotta take what you can get, I guess. We've also got Project Beast, which is a tech demo that the guys who made Dark Souls have been working on. It pretty much looks like a next-gen Dark Souls. I'm not entirely certain this will be at E3, but it's a good, there's a good chance. There's rumors that Super Smash Bros. will announce that they'll be releasing NFC figurines much like Skylanders and Disney Infinity. I don't think they're going to do that. That doesn't sound like a Nintendo deal to me. A lot of people will be very upset because that's like the world's worst DLC. Having to buy something physically to put into the game in order to play more. That's not going to work for a lot of uh, Super Smash Bros. fanboys. And it certainly won't work for me. But I do like toys. So if they look great, then maybe. We should be seeing a bunch of Xbox One and PS4 exclusives. We're going to have Halo 5 Guardians. Uncharted for the PS4 will definitely... They're definitely going to say something about it. They have to. It's been so long. There's also Sunset Overdrive, which looks awesome. The new Star Wars Battlefront developed by DICE will be there. There's also another Star Wars game that's rumored to be there made by a different developer. I think we're going to see a lot of Star Wars games. Because with the fall of LucasArts, they need to show that they're doing something with Star Wars games. And a lot of people are upset that they closed so many other Star Wars games, like Star Wars 1313. We're going to see some more about Assassin's Creed Unity and Comet. We had some leaked footage of Unity, and Ubisoft put up a splash screen announcing that the game is going to be called Unity. But there's also Assassin's Creed Comet. Unity is going to be for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and Comet is only going to be for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I think that's a good idea because it'll get people to want to buy the new consoles and they'll be developing content exclusively for the new consoles so they don't have to worry about having to run cross platforms. But I think we'll at least see a teaser trailer for this at E3. And hopefully a little more about Cobbit because I'm kind of interested in that. We're going to see The Division. There's been a lot about The Division, but hopefully it'll be playable. I was a little skeptical about this even coming out because they pushed it back for so long. But apparently it's going to be at E3. And since we've seen so many gameplay trailers, hopefully we'll be able to play it. Project Morpheus will probably be there. And hopefully there'll be some more demos that we can see. And I'm very excited to try that out. I've tried the Oculus Rift very briefly. Hopefully the Oculus Rift will be there so I can try that out too. Nintendo's not one for big reveals at E3, but it's rumored that they're going to be revealing uh, Zelda for the Wii U. Which they should. The Wind Waker HD remake for the Wii U sold a lot of Wii U consoles. So a brand new Zelda game would also sell a lot of Wii U consoles, especially if they package them together. The strange thing is that this year, game companies have been releasing a lot of big information before E3. You have Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. You have Battlefield Hardline that just got announced. You have the Xbox One price cut. I feel like companies aren't taking E3 as seriously as they used to. But... I'll get to be there and I'll get to play all the cool games before they come out. Oh, and Broforce will be there. So again, I won't have a video up next Monday. Probably, maybe, I don't know. But Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, there will be E3 footage for you guys. This week, you'll still have Will on Wednesday and the both of us on Friday. So don't worry about this week. It's next week that everything's going to be weird. So, you know, like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you really like it. Follow us on Facebook. Talk to us. Tell me what you want to see at E3 and I will try to show it to you.
If you can't make it to E3, I can be like your surrogate E3 goer. You tell me what to do and I'll go do it. So remember to keep up with all stuff E3. You want to subscribe to this channel, like us on Facebook, and you're probably going to want to follow me on Instagram, Fake Bob Wolf, because I'm probably going to be posting a lot of pictures there. So thank you guys very much. Have a good week. $60 has been the standard for years, ever since the launch of the Xbox 360 in 2005. Before that, games were $50. That's not much cheaper. Let's go way back. I, I think we can agree that one of the best shows on television is Rick and Morty. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Which is a cartoon. Yes. Not for kids.